the team and just everything's still out in front of you. Uh, is that pretty much what's being said? Uh, just getting back in the lab, uh, putting to work. Uh, maybe this uh, loss making us closer than ever, you know. Uh, just bringing our brothers up that need it the most. Uh, just being here for each other, grinding, and willing to go one and no next week. You talk about this uh, you know, bringing them closer. How, how different is the internal environment this year versus you know last year? At, like say after you lost the first time. Uh, just the leaders leading better. Uh, leaders stepping up when we need them to. Uh, just being able to deal with adversity. Um, things like this bring a team closer. Uh, it can tear a team apart or it can bring them, uh, make them a better team. And I feel like we got the leaders to lead this team to bring us back together. Jaleel, what have you seen from this Oklahoma State defense just on film so far? Uh, really excited to play against them. They run a lot of, uh, well, we, we, we've seen a lot that we like to see. It's a good defense that we like to compete against. Uh, just excited to get out there. Well, I know that the attitude, I'm sure, is always, you know, next snap, next play. But when things are maybe not going right on offense, when a few third down conversions don't happen, or turnovers, how does that weigh in terms of the confidence when you get into a late game uh, situation? Momentum is a big thing in football. I uh, just got to continue to uh, see how tunnel vision has happened in the past. Next play, you got to be the best of your ability next play, mentally, physically, emotionally, everything got to be straight for us, so just uh, being able to do the next play, be ready, uh, be as best as can you can. Can talk to Dylan Saturday just about early hot start, starting well, and what that does for you guys? I think we've talked about it a lot, but what are the, the keys to a, a fast start and getting into it? Uh, just little details, making the right reads, uh, making the, the correct, like just, just being able to uh, focus, do your job. Uh, make your play when it comes to your, comes your way. Just being able to the little details, get them straight. Uh, just do your job. You don't have to make a play, just do your job. Can you talk a little bit about lining up? It's a traditional running back and yeah. the play with the fumble. What happened there? And um, Just me not staying focused, tucking it up. Uh, just got to be better on that part. Wherever the coaches need me, I'm still going to be there regardless. Uh, I got to be better on that part. That was on me. I take full responsibility. Uh, they made a play. I took advantage of it. I just got to tuck it up more. Do you feel comfortable in that running back position, lining up in the backfield? Yes, sir, I'm very comfortable back there. I did it in high school, uh, so it's nothing new to me. How frustrating was Saturday, just the lack of opportunity down the field and pushing the ball down? Um, I feel like we should have took more advantage of it, but the weather had a big part on it. Just uh, football guys wasn't really on our side that day. That's all it was. Well, how have you seen Dylan respond from, you know, it wasn't his normal numbers that we've seen from him this season? Uh, Dylan's a great dude. I've seen him respond a lot from adversity. He's dealt with it all last year. Uh, just becoming the guy he is now, seeing what he came from last year, I know he's ready to prepare for next week. How different is this run game when Tawi's healthy? Uh, Tawi's a dog. Um, all our running backs are good. Uh, Tawi's a dog. He's an animal. What adjustments? Have you guys, in terms of the deep game, to kind of open that up? What adjustments are you guys looking at making? Uh, I feel like that's our offense in general. Uh, I just think we need more confidence. Uh, once we get rolling, I don't think it's going to stop us. Jalil, how special is the Bedlam rivalry? Uh, not really big on the rivalry, just the next game up. Uh, willing to go 1-0, that's it. How different is this one from, say, the lead up to Texas? Uh, no different at all. Um, Texas is the next game on our schedule, so OSU is too. So. The environment you expect it to be pretty hostile. Yeah, Saturday. it's going to be a, a extreme loud, extremely loud environment. Just got to be ready to play, ready to tune out the noise, just execute when we need to, and just do our job. How much different is it with the fans right on top of you? Uh, it's a lot different. Yeah. I played there my freshman year. The fans, uh, they had definitely have an impact on the game. We just got to. Get, get the momentum when we can, take advantage of our, 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 our opportunities, shut the crowd up. What, what do you remember from that game and even you know, the aftermath of it, obviously what happened you know, less than 24 yeah. hours later? Um, just a lot of going back and forth, a lot of turnovers on the, uh, on the field, pump blocks. It just was an uh, intense game all around the board. Uh, they had good special teams, we did too. Um, special teams is a big part of the game, so we're willing to make sure we're looking at those details so we can take advantage of our opportunities. And then what was the 